and i think uh, uh, i think i will invite uh, suman sharma uh, for the next speak uh, suman uh, are you available means are you free now You yes, need to yes, mute yes. the microphone. Ah, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, I'm free. I'm I'm available. Okay, then Suman, uh, you can uh, go ahead with your presentation. Uh, please share your screen. Uh, okay. And I think uh, I know that you are a little bit hurry today because you have some like. Uh, 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 so please go ahead with your presentation. Thank you. Thank you for the understanding. Uh, I I did have a. Uh, issue now now I'm, I'm i'm okay okay so i hope uh, yeah, yeah i hope i can i can be with you yeah uh, so your your slides are visible and sound is okay so please okay. go ahead thank you thank you very much sorry um uh, distinguished delegates i had been uh, a bit busy this morning and i missed this slot that i was assigned to uh, and then thanks to roland and yasa to take care of this and my apologies again for not being available on the time so uh, the national reporting under the article 15 of the stockholm convention on persistent organic pollutants so uh, uh, oh, every party are required under the stockholm convention under article 7 to prepare a national implementation plan and that national implementation plan is implemented uh because that plan al already sees that what uh, uh, action plans are to be implemented what are needed in the country what is the situation in the country with respect to all the pops and then um, also the resource planning is there and also in the nip the uh, institutional planning is there you know what will be the coordinating mechanism and what will be the um uh, resource situation where the resource will come and uh, the projects will be developed all those things are in the plan and this plan is implemented and once it is implemented and then uh, under article 15 it requires that the parties report back to the conference of the parties how uh, successful they had been to implement their plan or uh, implement the convention so this fits very well with the nip there is Oh, whatever you plan in the nip and that is what you will be reporting of what percentage of your plan or what activities of the plan you were successful to implement in my presentation uh, i will just uh, touch upon on uh, on the mandate and what is to be reported why it is important to report and when it is to be reported and how it is to be reported and uh, article 15 of the convention says uh, you know it is each party shall report to the conference of the parties on the measures taken to implement the provision so it is um, not voluntary but as the you know uh, the verb used is parties shall report so this is mandatory uh, all the parties those who have become the parties to the convention are required to report it to the cop on uh, measures they have implemented uh, under the convention and each party shall also provide the secretary the, the st statistical data uh, on production import export uh, of the chemicals that are listed under annex a b and reasonable estimate of uh, and their reasonable estimate because you may not have accurate data you may not have you know all the information available but you could you could just uh, guess or uh, reasonable estimate you could provide uh, in, in your reporting and also these reporting shall be um, uh, reported re made uh, on a, a regular interval and the inter periodicity will be de determined by the cop and the cop did determine the periodicity and it is uh, on these four years we'll come back uh, on that later so um, if this mandate is essentially boils down into these two things one each party reports to the cop on the measures taken to implement the convention and the effectiveness of such measures so you you took the measure and how effective it had been did it reduce uh, the the pops if you know you you took the measure but nothing uh, happened you know 
uh, your uh, measure was not effective, then you report it. You tell uh, to the cop that what was uh, the measures taken and how effective it was. And also on the data, if you are producing any pops, you will tell. If you are importing any pops, exporting, because you know you could still import, export uh, uh, pops. For example, on DDT, for example, it is pop, but then uh, you know there is um, allowed purpose on uh, public health. If you are using it for that purpose, then you will have to. Uh, uh, report to the cop, report to the secretariat that you are using it and you need exemption or you, you will be using it for that particular purpose. And so you you you, re, you report it and then you may have exemption on certain uh, pops as they are listed in the convention. Then there is a window then that window allows you to, uh, you know, five years of window that allows you to take your uh, steps, necessary steps, so that you do not need to use that. But then for those five years, if you are registered uh, your exemption, you, you wanted to use it, then that uh, 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 pop you can import, you can still import. And you can export, for example, you can export the PCB, which is, which is uh, a, a, uh, you cannot use, nobody can use it. But then you can export it to the developing uh, developed countries or the industrialized countries where the facility is, or anywhere where the facility to uh, uh, you know uh, final disposal of that uh, in the environmentally sound manner. So that is what uh, we have um, this statistical data we need, and then um, yeah, this is this is it. There are other reportings also uh, in addition uh, to be reported. Uh, uh, for example, uh, as I said, the progress report in eliminating PCB and uh, what is the reduction of the un, uh, you know, unintentionally released pop like DAX and Furan? Have you been able to reduce? So those things are to be reported. And other uh, require there are other reporting than Article 50, for example, the ET report. It partly goes with the national reporting, Article 15 reporting, but there is another process uh, uh, ongoing. Uh, there is a register of the, of the uh, parties who are using DDT, and they uh, need to report it uh, on a periodic basis. And uh, there is, uh, so why is reporting important then? What is the use of this information? The objective of Article 15 reporting is the information on the measures taken by the parties to implement the convention, uh, as I already said. So this will serve as example of good practice for other parties and evaluation of the effectiveness of the convention. So there is Article 16, uh, where um, uh, uh, effectiveness of a convention is is um, evaluated. For that reason, uh, you, you need to have the information. Have you uh, reduce the production or uh, reduce the use or, uh, you know, as we were listening to uh, Karel's presentation on, you know, what will be the, if you uh, take the environment sample and you see that over the time the, the uh, POPs is, you know, diminishing and the, the concentration is getting lower and lower. That means the convention have been effective. And we have already done this uh, effectiveness evaluation uh, one already done and another is in the process. So we have seen from the first reporting uh, effectiveness evaluation, the level of the POPs are declining, really declining. So uh, it shows that the convention is working. So for that reason, uh, we need uh, uh, this data. And uh, when preparing your report, you, know, uh, you, you collect the information and uh, the, those information are compiled by the parties and are uh, sent to the uh, submitted through the online reporting system, which I will come later. And what it uh, helps is, you know, a number of parties that have implemented measures and control pops. So there, there's a question. And in that question, there are answers like, you know, yes, no, uh, not applicable. So if you look at these pops, uh, we have uh, looked into. We found that 
for example, on Aldrin, there are uh, they 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 said that yes, they have put into uh, place uh, uh, in, uh, the control measure for Aldrin. Maybe they have made the legislation that bans it, and there are like uh, il there are like eleven parties. They said uh, no, they have not done anything, and uh, fifty three parties did not respond. So you know, out of these. Uh, 180 parties, you have uh, 116 parties reporting back saying that they are doing something. And if you go further into the new pops, you know, the P4 uh, AF, then you see that only 14 party, uh, sorry, 37 party, they have indicated that they have uh, done something. And 14 parties, they said, uh, no, they have not done. And best, most of the parties, they did not even respond to this question. They just left it blank. So we, with this, we know that what is happening for chemical. And similarly, parties, those who are producing pops, if you look at this, is, there are many parties like, you know, for Aldrin, there are 149 parties. They said, no, they are not producing, but there are two parties. They have indicated that, yes, they are producing. Uh, I don't know, um, uh, it was maybe a uh, long time ago. Um, or they may have historical, um, you know, for some reason. So this is how what we we get from the reporting, the, the picture. And this is similarly for the DDT historical train of use, uh, you you also see the similar thing. You know, DDT had been uh, not that much used. Maybe it was not reported in 2000, 2003, 2005. But as we go into 2007, 8, and 9. There was a uh, in sub-Saharan Africa the, the use was is a bit higher um, in that uh, region and other region uh, it was it was less uh, so this is what uh, we see the trend so, uh, the frequency as I said uh, the first cop uh, this is under decision SC 122 uh, adopted four year cycle. And uh, the first uh, reporting deadline was 31 December 2006. And the second one was uh, 2010. Third one was 2014. Fourth one was 2018. And 31st August 2022. Next year is for the fifth cycle. So um, people are working on collecting information to report uh, to the COP uh, by this time. So um, uh, I... I hope uh, Palestine will also be able to report back to the COP by using the online reporting system. This time, whatever is possible to report uh, will be reported because this is an obligation under the Convention to each of the parties. Yeah, this is the uh, reporting cycle where you know the COP, the previous COP, requested uh, Secretariat to update the format to include those newly listed pops and the guidance documents are there on uh, uh, you know to do the inventories uh, this is what we had been talking about on the first day itself the, the deep guidance inventory guidance and uh, further uh, and also the cop uh, in 2019 requested to improve the electronic reporting system uh, and taking into account of the feedback from the parties and make it more user friendly uh, and more robust. So uh, the Secretariat is continuously uh, working on it. It keeps improving it, updating it. And uh, as I said, the deadline uh, this year, next year is 31st August. These are the uh, cycle we just talked about. You can see that in the first cycle, there were not many parties reporting, like you know, 40, 50 parties they had reported. In the second cycle, um, uh, we have uh, a little more, uh, the total submitted would be like more than 90. And third cycle, it's about more than 90. And the fourth cycle, uh, unfortunately, we didn't get that many. Uh, we, we got like around 50, uh, a little less than 50 reports. Uh, and uh, on the fifth cycle, we are hoping to get uh, as many as like uh, 100 reports at least, so that you can... Uh, uh, draw any meaningful conclusion uh, based on those reports and uh, that will feed into the next round of effectiveness evaluation. 
and uh, there is a uh, feedback provision to the parties on their submitted uh, report. What we did was we went through the report and and what was not correct, what was not reported back, and what was uh, you know ambiguous. We reached back to the parties, telling them that these uh, questions were not uh, quite uh, clearly reported. Maybe you know this uh, we. Uh, provided them example from other parties who had reported it uh, in the right way so that we could have a better uh, report, a robust report on the PIPs reporting side. And there is a small intersessional working group working on the manual the questionnaire. And this, uh, these questionnaires and manual will be available for the COP, upcoming COP. And there had been a series of webinar um, planned and implemented on SC reporting in English, French, and Spanish. Uh, and if you need anything, uh, your reason, uh, uh, even we, we, we are open to uh, assist parties, you know, uh, country-wise, if, you know, State of Palestine wants uh, uh, help on, on telling or uh, organizing a webinar on the SC reporting, I think that can be done. Uh, yeah, we will have a problem with the language uh, we may not have uh, because in the secretary I don't think we have uh, anybody speaking uh, Arabic that well, but we can try. Yeah, you know this and also to do a survey to learn about the party's difficulty in reporting. Uh, and the key to improve the quality of responses. So there are you know we have already indicated in in those. Uh, the feedbacks pay special attention to numeric fields because it will not accept uh, you know any other thing and also these uh, uh, some people use as comma as a thousand dividers some people use a decimal point as a divider so there is a it should be used in a standard way that's been given there uh, and then uh, in, uh, there are several uh, questions, uh, tables, per country do may have uh, data, but they may not uh, know how to report that. If they have time series data, that's that's so much uh, better. This is this is all, uh, and, and these data obtained from your NIP, and there is, uh, you know, when you do NIP, then uh, these information uh, because these inventory are already in the NIP, so. We have you can you can uh, heal your uh, reporting from the deep uh, inventory. So this is uh, how this is this is the reporting uh, electronic reporting system is there in the website. I've given the uh, website uh, uh, link over there, and if you click on there, you will see the reporting page where you have. Overview and mandate, decisions, all the decisions uh, relating to reporting from COP1 are listed there. Uh, and then what the small interstitial working group is doing, that is there. And who are uh, in this working group, uh, the people uh, there, their meetings. And there are all the national reports that have been received so far are there uh, in the national report uh, menu. And the uh, other uh, electronic reporting system here, you can go and you can click on the uh, link there and you reach into the reporting uh, page. And uh, there are workshop, webinar yeah, that is happening. And on the guidance, you will see there is there are guidance also available in English, French, and Spanish. And this is the user manual on using the electronic reporting system. Uh, basically, this electronic reporting system, you know, it starts with this way. Uh, the first page is uh, uh, it asks you to be, use the language. So it's language is I have a selection of languages. We can use it in Arabic, Chinese, English, French, Spanish, and Russian. So we don't under, understand Arabic, Chinese, uh, uh, Russian, um, but there is uh, questions are so standardized that uh, we can uh, get uh, the idea of what has been reported. And then if we need it, there are uh, text boxes also. And we, we, if needed, we get those translated and uh, get the information. 
And um, so you, first thing you you select the language, and then you 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 will be given your username. Uh, I'm sure you must have received it, and you will uh, also receive password from the secretariat. So your username and password are provided, and there are two types of uh, username uh, and passwords. One is for the official contact point for one who will submit it to the secretariat, the last, last, uh, you know, the final submission. And there is uh, another password that you can use to uh, to build on the report because it cannot be done in overnight. So it takes, and also there are many areas, like for example, you needed the information relating to pesticide. You might want uh, to give this password to your uh, uh, contact person in the Ministry of Agriculture or in the Department of Agriculture. So they will uh, uh, build uh, the information. They will uh, input uh, the information relating to pesticide here. And if, if uh, there are you know, people working in the industries, they can have uh, their information provided. So these are with the technical officer uh, passwords and uh, login information. It can be done simultaneously. So several people can can uh, do uh, their bits, and uh, at the end, it will be the OCP who will look at the, the information, and this person will submit it. So this is how it looks. Uh, you know, part A is uh, general information, and uh, this is what the general information look like. There's official contact point. So who is the official contact point? This comes directly from uh, our um, uh, country database. Uh, so you don't have to provide it here. It automatically comes. And who are the technical officers? That also comes uh, directly there. And if you have uh, any Excel data to import, because you may have you know, not not all countries, but many of the developed countries, they they have uh, PRTR or other uh, sort of information database. So they can uh, import uh, the Excel sheet directly into uh, this reporting. Uh, template uh, and then uh, there are several you know you, you, you provide the information here and then uh, once uh, you you done you you move to next page you can see that at the top left corner it's the next page and click there you go to next page and uh, there is once you are there and then you have uh, up there uh, there are you know going to navigation this previous page and next page and then whatever information you inputted there do you want to save those information so it asks you to save all information that you'll save and uh, if you want to check error in this page so you can click there and it will tell you what is not uh, correct there you know if the format is wrong now uh, the unit you have used is wrong then it will tell you and uh, yeah, and there are at the end, uh, there are um, basically we wanted to have all the questions uh, customized in such a way, all the information that uh, is needed are captured. But then we realized some parties did want to uh, provide more information. Uh, there, you know, uh, whatever they wanted to provide was not captured by the questions. And they asked, okay, there should be a free box where they could uh, provide more information needed. So, and then we have this additional information box there and part E. Here you could provide the information. You could you could indicate that uh, about which question you are providing this information, what is, uh, what you wanted to elaborate. So those information, the free boxes you can write uh, uh, your uh, information and then if you wanted to provide any documents you can you know browse from your computer and, and upload those documents here so uh, recent examples for the queries and national reporting data we did uh, some queries uh, and then you know uh, we got some informations uh, yeah and this uh, is about also the, the same thing. Uh, the, uh, uh, quant the quantitative data and the part B reporting, especially you need to pay attention on, is uh, section six chemical production, export, import. 
uh, intestinal pulp, Annex A, B, and uh, uh, Section 4 on intestinal pulp uh, relating to Article uh, 5, Annex C. So these uh, are uh, on you know, and the stockpile and waste under Article 6. So this is in Section B, Part B, Section B of the reporting. So uh, similarly, PCB, PFOS, they are in Part C of the reporting uh, in, under Section uh, 1. Uh, and uh, uh, under uh, Section 3, PCB destruction, that is on the Section 1 is on the stockpile and waste. And Part D is on PFOS. This is a guided document for the inventories. I did uh, talk it on the first day. We have lots of guidances there. So you can uh, use these guidances, uh, use this wealth of information there to, to uh, uh, prepare your uh, inventories so that you know those data, once you collect it, it could be reported. And the same data could be used also to prepare your NIP uh, based on this information. Uh, preparing NIP is rather uh, straightforward. There are, uh, yeah, this is the same thing about the inventory guidance. And there are some QC, like I said, you know, it will show you error and it will, and also we are asking uh, you to please answer each and every question. Just don't leave them blank. You have to, if you do not have answer, then you check not applicable or I don't have answer. But uh, if you uh, leave it, uh, all the boxes empty, then uh, you know, uh, we'll not be able to use any information from there. So, and before submitting uh, your national report, please revise it. Make sure that all application, all questions, all comments fields are answered properly. And if you needed any assistance, well, before submitting, after you know, completing it at national level, but you want to be sure about uh, if it is correct, you can you can always uh, ask us. We can uh, help you. Uh, we can go to your report or any issues that you have. You are, if you are not certain about certain things, you can uh, ask us so that we can help you in completing your report. Yeah, with this, uh, I'm sorry for the long presentation, but I hope uh, it uh, gave you some idea already. Uh, to do your reporting, uh, which is not uh, very far uh, due, it's it's only August, so in like six, seven months, seven eight months, will be there, uh, and you, uh, we expect you to uh, do your reporting this time. Thank you very much. If there are any questions, please uh, up here. Uh, let me do hands. Uh, uh, thank you, Suman, uh, for your uh, comprehensive presentation. Uh, now, uh, I am uh, requesting the uh, participants, uh, if you have any intervention, uh, please raise your hand. Yeah, maybe uh, one question, Suman. Uh, for this Article 15 uh, reporting, uh, is there a, a presentation uh, maybe on the Stockholm Convention website uh, which, uh, which gives guidance? Or uh, because this is a very specific format, um, the, the format itself, uh, could it also be, because this is normally online, yeah? yeah. Uh, could the, this uh, format also be shared as a, as a document uh, that, uh, let's say, the, the environmental ministry uh, can, can have a look at it? Uh, thank you, Roland. <clears throat> this is exactly what we had been doing in the initial, until I think, uh, third reporting cycle. 
Now, we have been encouraging them to use the electronic format online, but then some countries uh, did want to do it uh, through the official document, signed and sealed, and they, you know, wanted to do, uh, uh, you know, in parallel with the online, on the paper also. So we have been providing uh, uh, this paper uh, or, you know, a template. Uh, right now, uh, I am not quite sure how it works because it's not me who deals it uh, with reporting under the Stockholm Convention right now. Uh, my colleague Carla Valekland who does it, so I can I can check with her uh, and I can reply. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think th there is uh, at is the moment a, some update uh, of of uh, of the reporting. Uh, do, do you know if this process of updating the reporting format is finalized or uh, is there, a, a, let's say, a, a, a deadline when you think uh, that uh, kind of a reporting format uh, will be finalized at uh, this and this date? Not really. I, I do not know uh, about whether it has been finalized. I hope so. It, it should have been finalized. Normally, you know, we, we do finalize the reporting format uh, quite in advance. So it should have been uh, finalized, but I cannot uh, say for sure uh, mm -hmm. without talking to Carla if it is okay. the case. Good. Yeah, so I think it's good that you one time talk with, uh, with Carla. Yeah. yeah. And maybe if then uh, this new format is available, uh, it might be nice uh, to, to share it. Yeah, I, yeah that's, a, that's a good point. Uh, point yes thank you thank you roland welcome uh atif jabir uh, please go ahead yes uh, mr sharma uh, actually regarding the questionnaire and the, uh, during the time of the data collection my question is uh, that the, the questionnaire or the type of questionnaire which sometimes i refer in the in the website which you use in the developing country or in the developed country is it the same type of questionnaires uh, available in Arabic or English? Or for each country, they have, you know, a specific, uh, you know, questionnaire to be tailored made for each country to be easier for uh, the data collection? Since, you know, you, you know, this topic is a little bit uh, uh, difficult for the people. It's a new subject. It's not like talking about water, waste, water, solid waste. Uh, you know, normally, questionnaire question is common for people, but this is, you know, a specific, you know, pops is, I really have some experience through, uh, since we implemented the small initiatives here in, in cooperation with one of the NGOs here in Gaza Strip. So it is a little bit difficult, you know, for questions, type of questions, type of answers, how to communicate with farmers, local people, municipalities, industries, uh, intentional, unintentional production. So uh, what's your opinion about, you know, uh, if we uh, would like to start, you know, the, the data collection, the questionnaires, it's, it is the same questionnaires for all countries or it is different from one to, to others. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jaber. Uh, it is the same questionnaire. The idea is to have, a, uh, you know, information that is comparable. So if we have a different kind of questionnaire that we cannot generalize, we cannot compare, we cannot do the... Um, uh, you know, time series, uh, uh, progress of the implementation, the effectiveness evaluation, for all reason, we need exactly the same information coming from each of the parties. So it's exactly the same. The only difference is to understand and to report it back uh, if there is any language barrier for that, uh, you know, to, to address that language barrier, we have uh, this... Uh, a, a guidance in, in different languages. Also, you, you are allowed to report in your own language, uh, in, in these six UN languages. The questions will be in Arabic, so you will understand. Sometimes what happens, you know, even if uh, you speak English, but uh, the technical uh, focal point who is completing this uh, reporting might be, you know, confused with word or here and there. So in order to facilitate the understanding, uh, we have these guidances in, in uh, different languages and the format, also the questions in the 
reporting format in different languages. Uh, I, I, is it uh, Roland who is uh, raising hand? No. Oh, okay, sorry. Hey, hey. Am, I, am I clear? Uh, I think Sherin, uh, she has some comment, I guess. Okay, Sherin, go ahead. Uh, Sherin, your mic is in mute. Okay. Okay, doctor. Okay. حضرتك سألت عن الكوشنير بالعربي اسمه الاستبيان هو موجود في الجايد لاين وهو موحد والجايد لاين موحدة كل دولة لما بتيجي تاخد الكوشنير بترجمه يعني احنا في الكيس بتاعتنا في الكويت نفس الكوشنير كان عربي وانجليش في نفس الوقت احنا ترجمناه فكان اللي بيشوفه سواء يقرأ باللغة العربية أو يقرأ باللغة الإنجليزية في نقطة تانية مهمة إن الكوشنير لازم يتشرح يعني الفريق العمل لما هيتقسم لتيمس على حسب المواد كل تيم بياخد الكوشنير ويذكره يذكره كويس جدا فأنت ما فيش كوشنير بيتم إرساله مباشرة لي مثلا لجهة صناعية أو منشأة صناعية بدون شرح لأنهم ما ما بيفهموش الكوشنير بصراحة يعني هو ده اللي حصل فيه كوشنير تم إرساله رجع لنا فاضي ما حد شارف يجابه فيه كوشنير ما حد شرد خالص ففضلنا نشوف إيه السبب الناس ما بتردش ليه الناس مش فهمة فكانت ال الستاب اللي بعد كده اللي إحنا عملنا الدايركت ميتينج معهم وبصراحة اللي حصل ده خلاني أنا شخصيا أعرف إزاي يعني إزاي اللي أنا أخلي الإنفنتوري بتاعي أسهل هل اللي أنا أبعت الكوشنير أو يبقى في مثلا فريق من التفتيش هم اللي بياخدوا الكوشنير وينزلوا بيه فلأن دي أصعب الطرق لأن هي بتستهلك وقت ومجهود وممكن اللي ماسكه مش فهمه أصلا فكان أحسن حاجة إن بيكون تيم ليدر لكل مادة من المواد المستهدفة بيدرس الكوشنير ويتم الاجتماع مع ممثلين الصناعة دي الستيك هولدرز يعني مثلا أنت عندك الصناعة بيمثلها مثلا عشر مصانع فبحدد اجتماع مثلا كل أسبوع هلتقي مع خمسة أو ستة على حسب بعض الأماكن عندكم يعني أنتوا هتقرروا ده من المسافات هل الصناعة دي قريبة بعيدة هتستهلك وقت قد إيه ده بتدرسوه ده بتدرسوه في تاير وان إزاي أنتوا هتتصرفوا هتعملوا البلان بتاعتكم إزاي فالكوشنير إحنا ترجمناه موجود عندنا كل الكوشنيرز اللي احنا استخدمناها في النب مترجمة لو محتاجين نسخة بي دي اف ونسخة وورد كمان لو انتوا عايزين تعملوا كمان تعديلات من عندكم احنا هنزودكم بيها النقطة المهمة جدا ان لازم اللي هيمسك الكوشنير ويشرحه للناس يكون هو فهمه كويس جدا عشان يبين الناس تفهم بسهولة وتعرف ايه المطلوب منها الكوشنير في كتابة لا الكوشنير مش مجال اللي احنا نكتب فيه تكست او جمل او حاجة الكوشنير كله اشارة يعني دايما هتلاقي خانات هو بس بيعلم في الخانة مين هيجاوب الكوشنير مهندس الانتاج دايما هتلاقي اتنين من ممثلين الصناعات مهندس الانتاج والشخص التاني المسؤول اللي هو السلامة والصحة المهنية دايما الاتنين دول انت اللي بتشوفهم مع بعض او واحد منهم بس غالبا بيجوا الاتنين مع بعض مهندس الانتاج هيتجاوب عن كل النقاط الفنية يعني احنا في, في النيب ما بنبقاش كلنا مهندسين او كلنا كيميائيين متخصصين في الصناعات دي فبيبقى حتى علينا احنا شخصيا صعب بس لما بنيجي نتقابل مع مهندس الانتاج احنا بنديله فرصة انه يشرح العملية الانتاجية ويتكلم عنها وبعد ما بيشرح ويتكلم عنها بنقول له ايه المطلوب ونقول ونوضح له الكوشنير ونقول له لو سمحت احنا عندنا كوشنير كوشنير ده اجزاء وكذا كذا محتاجينك تجاوب لنا عن النقاط المطلوبة دي ولو في أي حاجة ممكن يكتبها في صورة تكست ما بتتعدش السطر وممكن أقل من سطر الكوشنير ما فيهوش مجال لل يعني للكتابة والاستفادة إحنا عايزين معلومات دقيقة ومحددة وهي فعلا محطوطة بعلامات إحنا بس هن هنقشر على العلامة 
واي حاجه هتقابلكم في الكوشنير ارجعوا للمكتب وانا هجاوبكم عليها بس شوفوا انتوا هتبتدوا امتى واحنا معاكم ان شاء الله من مكتب الريجونال سنتر الموجود في الكويت وشكرا اوكي ثانك يو شيرين ثانك يو سومان ناو اي ثينك Uh, we will go for a break, uh, a short break, uh, like uh, 10 minutes, and uh, we will be back on uh, 12 o'clock uh, Kuwait time. Uh, so uh, uh, please have a break now. Yeah, thank you, Yasser. Yes,